So we're coming to you live from Kansas City Airport. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Uh, it's Friday the 10th, uh, on my way home, and I'm looking forward to seeing the family. You know, these past few months after the burning of the lodge, um, it's been a process, and I found myself going through a range of emotions, from anger to gratitude, back to anger again. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm justified in my anger, but, but these problems have been vexing for sure. They've been... Uh, burdensome. They, it's been like a load on my shoulders and I'm sure others have felt that way as well. As I look at what's going on in the world, um, people are going through the same negativity and the same combativeness. Um, as I look at what's happened most recently with one of my dear friends, Brad Wilcox, in a talk he gave. You saw my post perhaps previously um, just a couple of days ago and a talk that Brad gave on Sunday where he uh, made an error and then asked for forgiveness. Um, and everybody that, 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 that is quick to jump and, and I understand that people have their feelings and they feel justified. I feel the same way. I, I have my feelings and I, I, uh, I, I want to forgive. And uh, here's, here's something that I've come up with that has helped me and is currently helping me to try and be better, to do better. Um, it seems to answer the, these vexing problems. It doesn't solve the problems, but it seems to help me make progress. And that is, we have to start. I have to start with a dialogue, the communication, the asking for forgiveness. I have to start to try and want to be better. I have to start somewhere. And otherwise, it's just going to keep festering and it's going to get worse and worse. So number one would be to start. Start the communication. Start the dialogue. Start to recognize that maybe I'm not right or maybe that I don't have to be right. Number two would be to simplify. And that is sometimes we make things to be what they're not. Sometimes we like to amp up because we like to go with the crowd and we let everybody else's anger and everybody else's opinions begin to uh, conjugate our own feelings and our own opinions and then it becomes you know false news or fake news it becomes something that we make make believe ourselves and so we need to simplify and get kind of the root cause and we can make our own opinions and then try and you know try and put forgiveness first and the third thing that i would say is Find a place to serve rather than just always take. You know, how can I make somebody else's how can I make somebody else's life better? How can I find a place to to contribute to others more than just my own dreams? So start somewhere, simplify the problem, and then find a place to serve. Again, it's not the equation that answers all problems, but I'll tell you this, and it hasn't answered my problems, but it's made my life a little bit easier to deal with um, with some of the challenges that I've had the last few months, few weeks, few days. And I hope that I can remember that and the upcoming challenges that lie ahead, because one thing is for certain, those challenges will never stop.